Here we are, folks, with match 38. It's Australia. Australia up against Peru. So the start line at four, Australia is like this. Ryan and Gold, Wright, Sainsby, McGowan, Behic, Jedniak, Moy, Milligan, Cahill, Juric, and Lecky up front. As for Peru, Galice in goal, Andalusia, Corso, Ramos, Hurtado, Flores, Yurton, Polo, Tapia, Guerrero, and Farfan up front. And this is match 38, and Peru will get it underway, kicking off in the traditional red jerseys, white pants, Australia in their yellow tops, green shorts. Oh, we have an early foul. Australia taking out Peru player. And he'll get it straight in the yellow card. Straight yellow card for that bad boy. It'll be a free kick for Peru in a promising position. It's floated in there. Dealt with, though, by the Australian defence. Now, this match is a little bit on the pointless side because Australia already threw because of that result uh, between France and uh, Denmark. And Peru are already out. It's just a matter of where... Australia will finish. They need to win this game and they need to win it by, if I can do my maths correctly, uh, they need to win it by a, a, a two goals to nil to confirm top spot. Then if, if they only win by the one nil, then it, uh, it goes into some other um, uh, attribute. But right now, Peru have their noses in front, boys and girls. Kind of mix it up a little bit. Uh, and this would definitely put... France in the driving seat. Um, who is the goal scorer? It's Herrero. So Australia need to get their A game now. And in fact, they, if they're going to get top spot, looks like they're going to have to win three games to uh, three goals by three goals to one at least. So can they do it? Cheeky wee effort there. Now, in the real world, this match will play take place on June 26 at exactly the same time as uh, Denmark will take on France. And it will take place at the Fisch Olympic Stadium in Sochi. Now, these two sides have never met before in international competition outside of this fixture. So, kind of Peru have been in the football wilderness for a while. Australia have kind of... Been in and around the World Cup scene for the past few tournaments. Ask Tim Cahill. He's been at all of them. So, uh, and I'm sure this will be his last uh, hurrah. He recently joined Millwall. The uh, former Evertonian midfielder also. Where did he play? New York. Oh my goodness gracious. We have an equaliser by Australia. Just shy of the two minute mark. Who's the goal scorer? Could it be the man, the myth, the legend, Tim Cahill? I can't tell. It's not. It's Tom Zurich. Does he play for Celtic? He might do. I don't know. Um, but yes, one all. This will now leave Australia on five points. Peru will just have the one point. Denmark have three points. So if they want to avoid the wooden spoon, they'll need to beat Australia uh, quite convincingly, I believe. No, in fact, in fact, because of that spanking they received, Denmark are now on a minus four goal difference. And if Peru were to win 1-0 or 2-1, to one, uh, they would be on a minus one goal difference. So a win for Peru here should get them off the bottom of the group. But it doesn't really amount to much. It's just pride points, to be honest with you. And here come Australia now, though, who uh, top the group at the start of this match. But are looking for that top spot. So a goal by them will not be enough. They need more than one goal. I think it's getting... A little bit too big an ask. Long range effort. Keeper is down to the ground. So the winner of this group will take on the runner up in Group D, which consists of Argentina, Iceland, Croatia, and Nigeria. I don't know the ins and the outs off the top of my head of that group. Um, I'm not sure if anyone's been eliminated after two games. Uh, but we will find out now in due course, folks. So just stick around if you want to find out. Keep up to date with the developments of the 16-bit retro classic FIFA 95. That has been hacked to bring it up to the present day. Hit the subscribe button. It'll keep you up to date with all the games that come in. Thick and fast. And a lot of other World Cup content. And a lot of football content in general. And also if you like this video, especially if you're Australian or Peruvian, hit the thumbs up button. It does help with the searches in the old YouTube algorithm. 
So, uh, but anyway, Peru with a quick fire strike. Can he get another shot on the way? No, he can't. Australia's defense hold up, hold up firm, and eventually get rid of the ball. And now maybe Australia can get a counter attack um, underway. It's punted long. Great control. But here come Peru now. Um, we are now edging towards half time, and there we are just about there uh, into added time. And that is your lot Australia won, Peru won. Into the second half we go, Australia will kick us off. Again, they need um, quite a few goals if they're going to get top spot. So I think they are, you know, I think they're taking the foot off the gas somewhat. They are resigned to the fact that they're going to finish runs up. And that'd be a good, good boost to the football. Uh, uh, support in Australia. They always seem to get knocked out in the group stage, but today they um, they are doing the business. They're keeping themselves in this tournament, and they will be likely to face from my guess. They're probably going to be facing Argentina in the next round. But Peru, they want to go out on a bang themselves. And they are still looking to uh, claim a win, which would put them above Denmark after that trouncing by France. But here come Australia now from the back. Headed on. Denmark. Go back again now in midfield. Looking for a crucial pass. Long punt ball. Headed on. Can they get control of it? No. Australia doing the business at the back. Poorly cleared though. Peru may get a chance here. Diving header by the Peruvian. Obviously uh, in the new FIFA's uh, the diving headers and all that kind of stuff look a lot better, a lot more graceful than they do in this uh, this classic that is, what, 25 years old? 25 years old? 95? Uh, yeah, give or take 25 years old. Australia still looking for a goal, but I think, to be honest with you, they're happy with... They're going to be happy with just progression through to the next round. Now, if you are watching at home and you're wondering about the second round matches and the quarterfinal matches, I will not. I don't think I'll be doing them in the 16-bit format until the actual matches uh, take place. So once we know in the real world, once the World Cup gets underway and we know actually who's qualified, then I'll come back to this and I'll be simulating the 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 games the real games so despite the fact that australia are making it through uh and also if you check out the previous ones morocco and egypt have made it through in the real world um they may not make it through so i'm going to wait till we'll find out who's actually qualified to do do the second round quarterfinals and that kind of stuff um because that's just because um obviously it will be interesting to see if we were to play this out fully but um no, I'm not going to do it because uh, I want to simulate the actual games. Long range effort there from uh, an Australian striker. Now, if you're a fan of this retro classic, the old uh, original FIFA 95, let me know in the comments section below. Let me know when you bought it. Uh, let me know if you... Uh, I think it was only available on the Mega Drive, to be fair. Uh, or the Genesis or whatever. And Australia really looking to get the winner... Uh, but I did, I did buy this original game, a cartridge. It was in uh, a shopping mall in Preston, Lancashire. I remember it. They even had a, uh, I think it was sold out when I when we went to when we had to go originally go get it. But they were advertising it. That was a big old deal. Um, but we got it in the end. So, and it's a, it was quality, quality game. Then hence why I brought it back from the dips of beyond. This game is kind of fizzling out now. I think both sides are, are happy to take a point. Long ball. Australia. They're happy though. They're happy with their, with their three games thus far. Just to recap, they did hold France with a 1-1 draw. They then beat Denmark 2-0. And right here, right now, they are holding Peru to a 1-1 draw. But they let enough one rip. Right at the death, but keeper between the sticks for Peru seems to have given them a point, so they won't go home empty-handed. They'll take a point with them back to Peru, 
And uh, that is your lot. Australia won. Uh, Peru won. And a quick glance at the statistics show that uh, Australia has seven shots compared to three for Peru. No corners. As for the goal scorers, Tom Jurich leveled after Herrero uh, opened up. As for the goal scores, Herrero opened up the score in 53 seconds before Jurich leveled it uh, one minute later. And after that result, here's an updated look at the table. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and of course, subscribe. Check back each and every day for some hot World Cup content.